tonight on part two of the 2009 Shiitake Awards. One of the 50 states will take home the coveted ICBS National Championship. Who will it be? Stay tuned for the second half of the 2009 Shiitake Awards. And now, please welcome your host for the 2009 Shiitake Awards, Derek Logue. Welcome back to the 2009 Shiitake Awards. We are halfway to the main event, the ICBS National Championship. But we still have more awards left to give out, so let's get right to it. Everyone's seeking their 15 minutes of fame. Well, this segment's only about two minutes long, but hey, it's a start. It's time to present the one award that proves you don't have to be a celebrity to make an ass of yourself on TV. Because everyone needs their 15 minutes of shame, here are the nominees for the 2009 Everyday Zeroes Award. Paul Sandman, Florida therapist turned extortionist. Paul Armstrong, bad neighbor who can't read an acquittal paper. Michelle Owen, whose false allegation went to the dogs. Richard Larsdorf, the devil lurking at the church gates. Cindy Hood, the hanging Halloween dummy. The envelope, please. Your 2009 Everyday Zeroes Award goes to Paul Sandman. Congratulations, Paul. You're the winner of a wonderful Shiitake Award. And since you can't be here tonight, we got a special video just for you. Now it's time to announce the candidates for the Holy Shiitake's Award. This award is the catch-all category for stupidity that doesn't quite fit neatly into the other seven categories. They fit like a square peg in a round hole, candy on a salad bar, or Congress in ethics. Or Congress in Logic. Here are your nominees for the 2009 Holy Shiitake's Award. Jeff Johnson's Noose Political Cartoon. Howard J. Tripp Wakefield for his offender locator iPhone app. Dr. Phil, who still can't get real about sex offenders. Ohio's busted news rag glorifying public shaming. Your Holy Shiitake's Award for 2009 goes to Jeff Johnson's new cartoon. Congratulations, Jeff Johnson. You won a wonderful Shiitake Award. But since you can't be here, we've got a special song just for you. What's going for you? Really stupid people. Really stupid people. Today, we salute you, Mr. News Drawing Political Cartoon Guy. Mr. News Drawing Political Cartoon Guy. Armed with just a pencil and a pad, you managed to incite anger in thousands of readers from Nome, Alaska, to West Florida. Man, I'm really angry. You said you wanted people to start up in dialogue about the issues. Well, you certainly got us talking. Mission accomplished. Right or wrong, it's not your own to say. But even with such low standards, you still miss the mark. Watch for your aiming! So, polish up this nice Chicago award of political cartoonist and carry it proudly. Because as the old saying goes, you just gave yourself just enough love to hang yourself. It's the new strong political cartoon guy. Our next category is the dumbest law of 2009. Which reminds me of a wonderful story. Recently, a White House intern was reprimanded for instruction of justice. Apparently, the intern replaced the metal detectors at the Capitol with lie detectors, and not one member of Congress could pass through the gates to go to work that day. Our tax dollars go where? Here are your nominees for the dumbest laws of 2009. North Dakota's fetus 
writes Bill, could make ultrasound picks. Child porn. Iowa's HF433 puts parents on a child abuse registry if Junior sees porn. Florida adds cell phone and home phone numbers on public registry. Washington's Mark of the Beast chip implant law. The bonus law of 2009 goes to Washington State's chip implant bill. No surprise there. The state of Washington wins a wonderful Chautauqua Award. And we have a special song for our special winner. In Washington, they lost their mind. I needed time to grasp the stupid girl before my eyes. And what I've seen, I can't believe. That our state government could pass a gem monstrosity. Just what I saw on my TV. Our civil liberties traded in for security. It's not a dream. It's real here. Revelations was right and now the end is drawing near. Yeah! Last were rigged and I'm the guinea pig Implanted deep in me So they can spy on me Microchip All oh, this is just the tip for today it's me, next is all society. Six, 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 the number of the beast. Hell and fire are poised to be released. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time to present to you the finalists for the coveted ICBS National Championship. Winning the title is no small feat, as the winner must beat out 49 other states in stupid laws and actions. Will Florida repeat as the national chumps, or will one of the other finalists take home this coveted ICBS trophy? It's time to find out. And now the main event. Here are the finalists for the worst state of 2009, the ICBS National Championship. Missouri, the show me stupidity state. Texas, the lone tard state. Alabama, the pitiful. Michigan, the Great Flakes State. Florida, the blow sunshine up your ass state. And now the moment you've been waiting for, your 2009 ICBS National Champion is... Florida! Congratulations Florida, you are a two-time National Champion. So, can Florida 3 Pete, or will 2010 finally be the year another state knocks them off their perch? Tune in around this time next year to find out. Here is one last look at all the winners for the 2009 Show Top Year Awards. See you next year. First. blogspot.com to nominate the worst people of 2010.